Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I'll show you how to copy geometry in a sketch in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a free 3D CAD system that anyone can use. To start creating 3D models in FreeCAD, you just need to download and install the software or simply download it, as FreeCAD also has a version that runs without installation. We don't need to register anywhere, we don't need to provide our data, we simply download FreeCAD, run it and start creating our own 3D models. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. Now let's move on to FreeCAD, and I will show you how to copy geometry in the sketcher in FreeCAD. Start FreeCAD in the part design module, and we will create a sketch, for example, on the XZ plane. Here, I will show you this with a simple example. We will create a simple three-point arc. OK, we have that geometry. For now, I won't add any constraints, I just have that geometry. I can optionally lock this geometry to avoid accidentally changing its shape. And OK, I have that geometry. Now I would like to create a second identical geometry. Of course, this is a simple shape, and we could easily draw this shape, but if this shape were a bit more complicated, creating the same shape might take a bit more time. Therefore, in such cases, we can copy that geometry. Here, I would like to show you a specific case of copying where I want the copy of this geometry to be at a specific distance from the original geometry. To do this, we select the geometry and choose the command move array transform. This command is also available in the sketch drop down menu. Expand that menu and we have the sketcher tools command and here we have the move array transform command. We have the geometry selected, we choose that command and here we can either move that geometry. If we have zero as the number of copies, we can simply move this geometry. I select a reference point and then specify the location of the target point. For example, I will move it 10 millimeters in this direction. Here we enter the offset value, OK, and then we specify the angle. Here I enter 0, and this geometry has been moved by the specified distance. And OK, this way we can move geometry in the sketcher. However, what might be more useful is creating an additional copy of that geometry. To do this, we select the geometry, choose that command, and here we specify the number of copies. I want to create one copy, so I enter 1, select the starting point, and specify the offset value. Now, for example, let's move it in this direction by 5 millimeters. I enter 5 here, press enter, and for the angle, I enter 180, press enter, and I have two identical geometries. And OK, as I mentioned, this is a simple shape, and creating a second arc and adding dimensions wouldn't be hard or complicated. But if we already have a more complex shape, for example, we prepare some shape consisting of a spline where we have many control points. If we wanted to create a second identical geometry, then reproducing that shape would take significantly more time compared to drawing an arc. Therefore, if we want to get the same geometry, this command can be very useful. We select the geometry, choose that command, specify the number of copies, we select the starting point and specify the offset value, for example 10 millimeters, angle 0, and we have two identical geometries. And we can use such a shape, for example, to create a solid by rotating the sketch around a specified axis. Now I will close this shape, create two lines that will close this shape, close the sketch, and we can create a solid by rotating the sketch around a specified axis. And OK, we have something like this. Knowing this function, the function of copying geometry in a sketch with a specified offset value, can be very helpful in certain cases. And in this video, I wanted to focus only on this one simple thing. I think something like this can be useful in some cases, and may be helpful to certain people. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.